What's going on, everyone? So, this was actually a requested uh, video on how to put Windows 10 on an Alienware Steam Machine, or a Steam Machine in general, because um, they come with Steam OS rather than a Windows operating system. So, I'm actually going to do a quick tutorial on the Alienware Steam Machine that I have how to put Windows 10 on it. Now, I already have Windows 10 on it, so I'm not going to uninstall everything that I have on there to reinstall it, but I'm going to go through the steps just to show you how to do it. So the first step, uh, I'm not going to show you how, uh, it's very simple. What you need is a USB drive with Windows 10 on it. Now, all you have to do is just Google, you know, how to do it, and you can, you, you'll find millions of results on uh, how to get Windows 10. Now, basically, all you got to do is go to Microsoft's website, download the Windows creation tool, and go through the steps and uh, on another computer, and literally just in plug in a USB drive and click install to a USB drive. It will download and make it a bootable drive all by itself, and when that's done, you'll have a USB drive that all you have to do is plug it into any device that you can put Windows on, and you'll be good. So this already has Windows on it, so let's go over to the next step, which is on the Steam Machine. Very simple process, let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, sorry for the mess, it's a wiring mess. Uh, we literally have this Steam Machine with this monitor all in this tiny corner space. But here's the Steam Machine right here. Um, so first thing you gotta do is you just gotta power it on and instantly start spamming the F2 key. So we're just gonna keep hitting this F2 key. And boom! On the Alienware Steam Machine, the F2 key brings us right into the BIOS. So now, what you have to do is go over to the boot options and change this around. What you have to do is choose USB. Well, you can actually just go up to boot option one, hit enter, and select USB storage device and it will make USB storage device number one all right so you get your USB device right here and plug it into any USB port on the steam machine so we actually have an available USB port right on the front I'm trying to get my camera set up because uh, the tripod that I'm using is so mini it doesn't actually angle down so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and just go to the standard save changes and exit well, save changes and reset, but we're gonna plug in the USB drive first, and then hit save changes and reset, and hit yes. Now, we're gonna zoom this out. We're gonna go right up to here, and it's probably gonna boot right into Windows already. We'll find out. So it says Alienware. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. And as you can see, we got the little circle loading right here. And boom, Windows setup right there. So now all you have to do is you all you have to do is literally go through the steps. I'm not going to click install now cuz I already have Windows 10 installed. But when you click install now, you know what? Screw it. Let's click and in install now cuz it's not going to change anything until you actually select the partition, different stuff like that. So let's go into, now we're just gonna say I don't have a product key. And you select uh, what one you wanna install, whatever one you have the key for. Now, if you already have a key, enter your key, should already know. So we're just gonna click home, accept the license agreement, and uh, we want to do this, do custom install. Now right here is what you're going to see. Now I'm not going to change any of this and I'm also not going to continue after this since I already have Windows 10 installed on my Steam machine. But what you want to do, well what I did was I literally deleted every single partition. You click it, click delete, click it, click, click delete till you have one option. <clears throat> when you have that one option, what you want to do is you want to click format 
And then after that, you click the only option, hit next, and just go through the steps. Once you go through the steps, Windows 10 will be installed. And here's a warning, SteamOS will not be on there anymore. This is going to erase everything on your hard drive. And it is going to win install Windows 10. Now, let me just exit this, quit, yes. I'm going to pull this out. And I just dropped my USB drive. I want to cancel the installation. <clears throat> but yeah, that's all you have to do. Follow the steps, and you will have Windows 10 on the Steam machine. Now, I have the window, I have the USB drive out, so I'm just going to boot it up. And as you will see, it is going to boot up in Windows 10, just so you guys see that this is, in fact, running with Windows 10. Now, I actually didn't even activate, activate mine yet. I still have to purchase a CD key. You can literally download it without needing the CD key. Um, now, since this doesn't have an SSD in it, this is literally just a standard two and a half inch drive. It takes a little bit to boot up compared to computers with SSDs. I want to upgrade it to an SSD. The only problem is it only has a spot for one hard drive. So if I want to go one hard drive without an external, you know, I would want to go with at least a one terabyte, one terabyte SSDs These are a little pricey, but it still doesn't take that long. And as you can see, Alienware Steam Machine is in fact running Windows 10. And I have tested this out. The nice thing about going with Windows 10 instead of Steam OS uh, is a lot of games are not compatible with Steam OS. A particular instance, Killing Floor 2. Killing Floor 2 is not available on Steam OS. So, you know, install Windows 10, install Killing Floor 2, and I got to tell you, running at 1080p, it runs actually really nice. High settings, 1080p, it plays at 60 frames, you know, it plays at 60 frames per second, no issues. But as you can see, Windows 10 works perfectly fine. Just follow these instructions and you shouldn't have an issue. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you hate this video, give it a thumbs down and uh, subscribe for more content. There's going to be a lot of Let's Plays, um, unboxings. I got a lot of reviews that I got to put out, different stuff like that. And until next time, have a good one.